So next I'm going to show you the boards tool. So how to search Pinterest boards. So we have another whole um, tool in here where you can just search by keyword. Pretty self-explanatory. You want to look at the total boards. So let's just select 50. And you want to go to settings to select the number of download threads. Again, I recommend you know, anywhere from five to 10. If you have a really fast internet connection, then you can explore these higher ones. But I, f I like five, it seems to work really well. So let's go here and let's say we want to look at boards to do with forging, which has been one of my new hobbies. I absolutely love forging, but that's a whole nother topic. Let's go ahead and get going here. So now we'll extract a bunch of data for boards on Pinterest. And so this is pretty exciting as well. So now we get all this awesome data. So we can see the number of board followers, the pin count, topic, category, the board name, the link to the board, when it was modified, last modified, the owner, how many followers the owner has, even the URL associated with the owner, the country the owner is in. So very good data and you can see the board image they have like a board cover image. That's what this image is here, and you can work with the size. One awesome feature for this particular tool is you can see the pin count here. And let's say, for example, this uh, AC Forge, Forged Wheels, how about Forged Tongs? It has 95 pins. You can right click and you can analyze those pins. So analyze pins for selected board. And then here, this little thing comes up. It says, how many pins would you like to extract? So I put this here because if there's some here that have like, you know, 20,000 pins, you don't want to be extracting 20,000 pins. It's going to take a while. Even at 15 downloading threads, it would take you a while. Imagine even being in a web browser trying to look at 15,000 pins. It takes a long time. So, I mean, I wanted to give you an option here. So um, you can select all. Since there's only 95, I'm just going to select all. I mean, you can... You can you know, scrape, comfortably scrape, you know, 500 to 1,000 pins easily, but it's still pretty high. It's a good idea to sort of narrow things down. But I'm going to do all of them, and you go analyze. So what it's doing, it, it what it does, it just goes and throws it into the pins, into the browse and scrape um, tab, and then just puts it in here, and it's going ahead and grabbing the data for you. Now, for some reason, as I'm watching this now, it's not doing the multi-thread um, uh, technology here. So don't worry, don't let that surprise you as you're watching me in this video. I will make sure that it's gonna be multi-threaded when it's released, but just bear with me for right now. Um, but as you can see, it's getting all that data for all of those pins for that particular board. Now this is really exciting because now you can see which pins on that board have the most engagement. Now, this is invaluable information that you need when you're marketing on, on Pinterest. This is awesome. So usually you won't have to wait this long. Again, I apologize. <laughs> it's gonna be multi-threaded, but for some reason I just forgot to add that. It's like basically one line of code, but I don't wanna go back and do it while I'm recording the video, so here we go. Now we got the most, in most saves, most repins, so now we know this particular pin on that board to do with tongs, this is the one that got repinned the most. I've actually seen this pin a million times and I've actually attempted to do this exact same thing, but I don't know, my tongs did not look like that. <laughs> I need more practice, but anyhow. Isn't that pretty awesome or what? So to go back to boards, you can do that with any one of these and you can add them over. And again, it, it will be faster. Like, let me show you here. So if we just clear this out, if I actually go and hit the analyze button, this is what's supposed to happen. You see how fast that is compared to before? So that's how quick it'll be when you use the software. <laughs> Anyhow, I just stop that there. But that's how you can analyze the pins of these boards. So that's just amazing. Now I've added those previews, same with the, in the pins, section here if you right click you got some preview options as well so you can actually preview this data in the table and it's similar to the pins so you got all the data here and like I mentioned before you can actually deliver this file to clients if you'd like if you're doing research on their behalf and to save it as a file you just go to file export interactive HTML file 
and you can just save it like so. And if I go File and go to Open Last Working Folder and Modified, that's the file there. I know it's an HTML file. A lot of people think that since it's an HTML file, I have to have it on the internet for people to see it. Not in this case. These are self-contained HTML files, which means you can deliver this file just like delivering a, a, a CSV file or a text file or a PDF file, any file. In fact, you can just zip it up and send it to a client. So I can right click and go 7-zip, I use 7-zip. And now it's zipped up and now I can just deliver that through email or any way that you deliver files. So pretty cool, right? And then when a client gets it, they extract it, double click it, and just opens up in their browser and it just works just like you see here. No other files required. Cool, huh? So you also have another option. You can right click and you can preview in the feed. And so this does sort of like a feed format, kind of like on Pinterest. And so you'll see the user that posted it and then you'll see the actual uh, board image. This is the board cover image. And now you can see the pin count, board followers, and owner followers. And you can sort the top with board followers, owner followers, and also pin count. And you can do a live search as well. And it will automatically search and also highlight the word that it finds. So that's a quick overview of how to use the um, boards. And in a video, uh, sorry, in another video, I'm going to show you how to use the quick filters and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory. You just have to click around and start clicking or searching. And you can clear out filters here. Or you have custom filters you can do. So you can do all stuff in there. But I'll have another video for that. I don't want to make this one too long. So that's how you can analyze boards and more importantly how to analyze the pins of any given board.